this is Melisande and she needs a Bimax for snoring. This video explains the massive Bimax advancement with 12 millimeters upstairs and 22 millimeters downstairs. And so explaining how we do that with complex counterclockwise rotations and an eight piece 3D jigsaw, starting with a five piece mandible, where we use the BSSO and the Genio Pauli split in the middle to centralize the chin and midline and symmetrifying the shape overall of the lower jaw. It helps level the bite for the orthodontist and for the smile. And the central genio poorly allows us to bring the chin right on the center of the face whilst we can use the BSSO components to widen the jaw and the jaw angles on both sides. And we want to try to do that as symmetrically as possible. Pulling forward the lower jaw stretches the tongue and the airway behind it, a little explosion which increases the jaw width and stretches out the airway, which lies between them both. And we use a little midline split with the Genio Pauli to help level that bite just so. Looking underneath, you can see how we can symmetrify and stretch out the jawline itself, which is what is pulling the airway forward and outwards, all assisted with the central genio poorly to try to symmetrify that jawline. And by doing those little jaw joint twists in this precise little way, we can make sure that we're not compressing the nerves that run through the jaw when eventually we clamp it up. The upper jaw is divided into three pieces through a midline split and some piriform remodeling to give us some better shape to the base of the nose, as well as improve the nasal airway. And you can see the nasal mucosa there lying above the red. And we're doing a counterclockwise rotation. Overall, bringing forward that upper jaw around about 12 millimeters, creating a new nasal spine, which pushes the upper lip forward and the nasal tip upwards to reduce the nasal hook and of course pushing the upper jaw forward pushes the upper lip forward and gives a bigger and wider smile we split the upper jaw but not the palate itself just the bone widening the nasal floor as well as the palate And of course, it pushes forward the upper lip, giving a fullness there that she never had. And for the orthodontist, we're creating perfect arch symmetry for Invisalign that will follow after the procedure. And we're pulling forward the soft palate, preventing the nasal part of snoring and looking at it overall, there's quite a lot of winding that's happening in the whole lower face, giving symmetry and lower facial balance. 
and settling the bite behind her beautiful lips so that they seal when she sleeps and when she smiles you'll just see a beautiful smile without any of the gumminess that she uh, has. This is an eight-piece Bimax and translating design into the clinical environment is through the medium of custom guides and custom plates and using screws and safety screws. Planning leads to a precision mediated by titanium which is 3D printed and leads to 3D printed plates that engage the holes the guides give us to move the various pieces of the jigsaw into their precise reorientations and these complex pools in three-dimensional space help stretch what we can't see like tongues and airways. The custom Lefort guide also enables us to create the base of the nose while simultaneously reducing the gummy smile and for accurate reposition of screws so that we're not touching tooth roots for a perfect Lefort. And you could see the nasal mucosa, which is unimpeded and unimpacted. All of these movements are given by the guides and the plates, giving precise repositioning of the multiple segments, reducing surgery time and aiding in speeding recovery. This is Melissa. She doesn't like a smile. She feels that this face is not her own and has been created for her through her experience in adolescence as a with, with the orthodox. We don't need braces to do surgery. We simply perform the surgery, give her back the face that nature had always intended. And this is her real face, that this is what nature had always wanted. And this is 12 days after surgery. Thank you.